Bim, guess what? We're live, and it's Retro Gaming Club. And today, or this time, we're doing the PS1, and we're testing four games that have come in today. One of which is rather exciting. I'll tell you, it's exciting because it's uh, worth, or it's going to sell for fifty-five pounds. But that's last. So first up, we've got uh, a game which we're going to sell for £22.95, and it is Parasite Eve. Now, I'll be honest with you, I don't think I've ever played Parasite Eve. If I have, I don't remember playing Parasite Eve. It's by Squaresoft, so it's nothing to do with Resident Evil, which I thought it was, to be fair. Disc is... Um, So let's have a gander, shall we, and see what it looks like. Get rid of that noise, you love. But yeah, there is a mega expensive game coming up, but that was the last of the four. But they're all quite pricey games, considering a lot of games are, uh, well, a lot less. I'll give you a clue. The last game that's coming up is made by this company. Got your interest now, haven't I? <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Oh, crikey. So good, so far. I mean, so far, so good. <laughs> I'm drinking water as well. So get to like, share, subscribe, chat. Rupert Broderick, Jody Bonkwin, number nine. Right, I've had enough of that. It was fun, but not for long. Press start button. New game. I'll have to do new game because I haven't got an old one. Why is that gone off? Why did that go off then? Oh yeah, super gamer. Oh, we got a bit of lag, but not a lot. My interest is dwindling as well. Sorry. What's the matter? Aya! Got something against little girls. What? I'm just not in the zone today. I sound like Michael Jackson. Well, I've got a man button. Had enough for now. Hi, JT. Uh, yeah, that's enough. That's enough for today. Okay. And we're done. Oh, it's... Right. 
got to figure out what all the controls are because I've never played this before. I don't like the camera angle. I'll be honest with you straight away. No, 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 no. Right, so whatever direction you're facing, up is forward. Right, okay. That's a bit weird. Yes, that was how, I presume. Bullseye. Looks like the doo-doos really hit the fan at the Arcatropolis Tower downtown. The Arcatropolis Tower? I just went to a clearance sale there last week. Not on the roof, I bet. How once? Uh, I mean, Supervising Agent Baldwin wants you down there ten minutes ago. So I was asking him to keep shooting. This really does involve um, an MMCS. Is it? Well, I don't know. Where's me for? Last time I checked out a creature sighting, it was just a salesman in a fluffy chicken suit. No such luck this time. They've already called in Sw Swart. All right, already. I'm a going. Wherever there's M and MCs, there I am. Okay, I uh, just don't get cookie. I won't get cookie because I can't get out the door. First, oh, okay. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, where shall I go? I'll go to the firearms room. Firearms control, yes. Oh no, I'm doing this. Hi. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Use your BP to arm you, equip yourself. Bring along for the tablet too, just in case. What will it be? Can I see a list? What a BP? Why can I see a list? Uh, uh, armor. Uh, total vest. Purchase. Insufficient BP. Oh. Uh, items. Uh, recovery. Uh, one of those. Purchase. Yes. And all of our pepper spray. Yes, purchase that as well. I'm probably ready to Michael Jackson, you know. I haven't got enough money for that. Where do we get? Uh, every gun uses a certain colour of ammo. That's why the ammo's in different coloured boxes. I mean, like, duh, right? So why did Pierce try to put 9mm PP in a revolver? Oh, we're done. Right. Well, the memory card is uh, one megabyte and it's a PlayStation 1. Nope. Who are you? Ready to go. Ready. Right, I'll open the gate. Watch yourself out there. Oh. I was open, I was expecting, open and expecting. 
September the 4th, 2856 p.m. I could put all these towers, Los Angeles. I've played the full playthrough of Silent Hill and the lack of drama in it was unbelievable. Interesting camera angle. Special Agent, I agree. I'm with the FBI Mist units. Mist? Alright, you're cleared for a trip. Go right in. What's the situation? The situation? It's out of control. We had a team on the roof before we lost contact. And now, our helicopter's down. The military better get here soon. Thank you. The camera angles are really stupid on this game. Um, I'm sorry, the camera angles are really stupid on this game. The views are using the uh, D pad. That was the helicopter. Sad. No survivors. Special Agent Bree, FBI. What's the situation on the roof? Well, SWAT went in about ten minutes ago, but we seem to have lost contact. Any civilians inside? They're already been evacuated. They were yelling about creatures. I see. Thank you. Be careful in there. Sergeant, an FBI agent just entered the building. That hunter, well, that hunter missed, Sergeant. Yeah, haven't you heard of them? Damn rookies, they're monster hunters. Let's look longingly into the distance. They formed after the New York blockade incident three years back. I'm not taking any chances. Go that way. I can't see a damn thing because some has turned the light off. Ah, there we go. I wish I could run in a straight line, but for some reason I'm dodging invisible bullets. Get out the way. I want to get to the door. I 
I forgot how bad graphics were on the PS1. Look at the state of this. So. Oh my god, someone knows I'm here. What was that? That's some creepy monster. So, now what I'll do is, even though there's a creepy monster here, I'll answer the phone. I can't answer the phone because I can't get past. The table's in the way. I can't get past the table. Let me get past the table. There we go. Hello. Agent Bree. You're there. Good. This is Baldwin. What? Swat? I see. It's unusual for NFCs to do this kind of damage. We need more information. Just use sufficient caution. Uh, no, no close again. Save cancelled. Thank you. I'm not talking to you because I think you're a tosser. Okay then, we're going through into the bit that's really exciting. It's beautiful. This building is one of the nicest buildings in the world. Freeze. Huh? Don't shoot, FBI. Are you hurt? Nothing serious. I'll be okay. Where's the rest of the SWAT team? Didn't you see that? They've killed everyone. Everyone? All except this lady, a civilian. She didn't make the chopper. Uh, if I wasn't wounded. Please, you've got to go save her. Where is she? Probably still in the cafeteria. Please. Obtain cafeteria key. Watch your back. I might shoot you when you walk off. I did say freeze. That's why I'm using this voice, because you went, freeze. An emergency exit. I don't know where the cafeteria is. I only bought stuff from the sale when I was at the sale. It's been shut down. Oh no. This elevator face, faces the east wing. What's that got to do with the price of bread? Kick over the coke machine. This is the beginning of Par uh, this is the beginning of Parasite Eve. Press X to ascend or uh, press X press X to ascend or ascend those letters. Why do we have to press X? Oh there's something on the bench. I don't I can't even see a bench. Right. Every time you come to stairs, you have to press X. Oh, there might be stairs. Is that the cafeteria? I think I found the cafeteria. The gate has been barred from the other side. Mm -hmm. Those pesky ghosts barring things. Ah. I can just see an escalator in there. Mm. An automatic door. It won't open. The electricity has been turned off. Oh my. I have to keep pressing X to go up and down two stairs. The two stairs at the time. Right, I've got to go this way now. I'm looking for the cafeteria. There's more stairs, look. You can see them, they're there with stairs written on them. I think we're going to cut the scene here. Or not.
I think it's dead. <laughs> FBI, everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> Watch out. They're not what they seem. Uh. No. Ah. Uh, I told him everything was gonna be okay and he's dead already. This is a tragedy day. And the feeling's gone and you can't go on. Open the door with the cafeteria key. How much is this game? This game is uh, £22.95 and worth every penny. Are you in here, love? There you are. Oh, she's pregnant as well. You, she's reading a magazine. Ma'am, you're safe now. I said to the other guy you'd be okay and he died. But I'm with the FBI. I was going to get you out of here. Oh. <laughs> it must have been a shit magazine. That's all I can say. She's pretty. Shoot this mother. Well, I need to get out of here. This mole's trying to kill me. I was trying to rescue you, love, and now you're trying to eat me. What's wrong with you people? Stop following me. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be good. Parasite Eve 2, never played it before, probably never played again, uh, and 22.95. Uh, it's a two-disker as well, which is interesting. Needless to say, I didn't get to the second disc. Right, I need to pick some speed up a bit, because this is uh, our, and we've already in it. So, right, Pandemonium. Pandemonium is a brilliant game. If you've never played it, it's hard as nails, but it's brilliant. Um, and it'll cheer me up after the shocking horror, 1794, after the shocking horror that was the last game. It automatically aims, uh, dork, so I can only shoot the monster, which is good because the, the control method on it was shocking. So... Anyway. Pretty nasty, huh, Fargus? What should we name that one? Shatner's to pay. What do you think, Sid? Let's I remember when this game came out, I thought this opening no, sequence okay. was amazing. Amazing! I said, this is amazing. Now look at it, I think this is actually really good stuff. 
but it needed more firepower. Yeah, really blast one. Well, which one should I do? Don't blast the one that's a big sperm that eats a village. But this is a tenth level spell. Yeah, don't. Yeah. We ain't got all day. Yeah, let's go, Toots. Make with the boo boo. Hey, qua yungo zore korech ba. What in the world? This is so boss. I am Yungo. Yum. What did I tell ya? Never listens. The big green sperm that eats things. Anyway, we'll go for a new game. I'm going to play this very briefly so you get a rough idea of what the game's about. Alright, does it not use analog? No, it doesn't use analog, okay then. Now, I never got very far in this, but I always liked it. Actually. <laughs> I don't know what that does, but it's cool. Oh! Oh! Again, at the time, these graphics were amazing. Let's collect the gems. Oops. There we go. Ah! Not good enough. Use a melon. Oh. So it's like it's a 2D platformer. It gives the impression of being 3D. Right, we're gonna have to go the long way around. Okay, now I know I just do a double jump. I've not played this game for a long while properly. There we go. Ah! Control's a bit off as well. So you see what I mean? It's it's, it's a 2D platformer, but it's giving the impression of being 3D. It's quite clever the way the things rotate around and all that. Oh, we got the gold one. Oh, well, the red one. Right, there we go. Bye. You are the weakest link. Controls are very awkward. Ah, oh, there, it's only, it's only a red one. Oh, it's because I'm not playing the game proper, I'm only just showing you. Oh, you! Like. I say you, it's me, does it? So it's... Through the waterfall. Mm. Oh, well, there's a key there. You just somehow just get the key to go down here, down there, and then up here, down the slide, oh. on the lift. Oh, I'm dead. It. 2.5. Yeah, that's that makes sense. So anyway, you get the idea, and that was uh, Pandemonium, which was uh, and still is actually quite a good game. Uh, Pandemonium. So what I 
I'd forgotten completely is it had a sequel. Can you guess what the sequel's called? Do you know what it is yet? Uh, it was called Pandemonium 2. You see the two characters that were at the beginning of the game. And uh, this one's cheaper, 12 95 which means, I assume, it's rubbish. Next game is the expensive game, by the way, that you're all waiting for. Uh, quality the disc isn't the best either, but it's PS1. It uh, should be fine. Should be fine. We picked a fine time to leave me. See. Looks like bread the rod, it does. One of them uh, big long things. Oh, yeah, thanks, Quincy. You're making me feel like I'm 112. I'm not 112, I'm 111 in gaming years. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. There's shed loads of uh, random retro games in the playlist. The only way to view this channel is playlists. If you like people eating food, there's playlists for that, i.e. me eating food. If you like driving, there's playlists for that. If you like the retro games and current games, there's different playlists. And there's more than one retro gaming playlist as well, so just go through the playlist. And there's hours and hours and hours, and a lot of them, I'm slightly intoxicated as well. Anyway. Behold, children, the comet of infinite possibilities. Every 300 years, it passes over the land called Lear. Dusting the land with magic. Encased within is the source of this magic condensed and unlimited. Listen as I, Sid the Magnificent, <laughs> tell the tale of the race to stop the evil Goon Queen from her quest to plunder the magic of the comet and pervert its power to her twisted desires. My story begins. On the dangerous road the to Boom City, with my sidekicks, Nikki, the Enchantress, <laughs> and the uh, Fugs, full-time dunce, and uh, my transportation. Look, Father. Yeah, uh, what are they saying? Damn, uh, uh, Nikki. I got this voice. <laughs> and scrub the sewer with him. Must touch pretty fire. Must touch pretty fire. <laughs> now what, puddin' lips? You boys up for a ride on a rocket? <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what's going on. <laughs> wow. This is the sequel. Ogoon City. I misread that rather badly. What's wrong with the graphics? I can see why it's cheaper. I 
I've never played this before, ever. I should probably tell from my reaction. Why is there a target under there? Oh, control. So I don't change my character. What's with the funky? The fonts as well, why? There we go. I mean, look at that, not even in the middle. This is shockingly bad. Is it the same company who made it? Yeah, Crystal Dynamics. <laughs> oh, here we go. I've, I've literally, uh, that was Sonic the Hedgehog at the moment, I'm not doing anything. Da da da. It's trio. I'm trying to think who it was then. It's trio, isn't it? Uh oh, there's something there big. The sake of being here, aren't I? All right, okay. She's not even holding it. Oh. I was expecting this to be as good as the original. Oh no. the biscuit <laughs> oh brilliant. anyway uh, that was the mega mega uh, disappointing pandemonium 2 uh, I can see why it's five pound cheaper than pandemonium this will never stop spinning either day 45 inch to wait for this to stop Right, so, are you ready? <sighs> oh, I've just shown you anyway, I'm not going to say, this game is 54.95 and it is called Lomax, and it is by, da -da -da -da. where are we, there we go, Cygnosis, hence the Cygnosis t-shirt, you see, it's, I'll just throw this together, you know, that I do, I'll make it up as I go along, but you don't need to know that. So, it's a decent disc for PS1. And we're going to play this for about 20 minutes. How you think? Yeah, I'm fine. There was a biscuit called Trio, you're right. If you've just joined us and wonder why the hell we're talking about biscuits, then don't worry about it. I'm not. I'm over it. 
Hope you're good as well, thanks. So this is Lomax. What does it say on the back? Uh, Lomax battles against zombies, pirates, cowboys and the dastardly evil Ed in over 40 levels of frantic platform mayhem. Oh, and it's Psygnosis, and Psygnosis are one of my favourite um, retro uh, programmers, distributors of all time. Looks like a lemming, I'll be honest with you. That did look like a lemming. This is where most of you will know Psygnosis from, they did lemmings. They also did wipeouts as well. Oh, it is lemmings. Yeah, Destruction Derby, that's right. Destruction Derby 2. Which is one of my favourite races of all time. Got a big stack of PS1 games uh, next to the camera, but Destruction Derby 2 is not one of them. Right. Where is it? That doesn't use analogue. What the hell? Right, so let's go backwards. In there. We'll pick the hats up. Obviously, the hats. Cough. <coughs> He's got a thing there. Nice to meet you. I'm Lorok, and I'm old and wise. That's why they call me Wise Old Lorok. I can give you some helpful hints during your adventure, so don't hesitate to ask. Good luck on your quest. Thank you, Lorok. Can you go away now, please? Take that, thank you. Should we rescue that then? Yeah, the zombie. Oh no! Oh! Lomax the Lemming, yes! Who knew the Lemmings had names? What? One hit and you're dead. Let go! Escaped. I don't know if he's come back, there we go. Right, he's escaped. Oh, lots of gold coins. Get the gold coins before they disappear. Oh no! There's no point, is there? Because I didn't get anywhere. No point continuing when I didn't actually... You might get li a, a very limited continue, so there's no point continuing if you're not going to continue. No, I mean, if you didn't get anywhere. Say anything on the cover that he's a lemming. Nineteen ninety six. Let's come out. God, it's twenty five years old. Oh no! 
Yeah, whatever. Right, can I do anything else? No. All I can do is that. Spin. Right. So basically I'm using one button anyway. Control methods a bit. Right, I'm not doing that one again. So just, no. There you go, he's gone. He's up it. This is one of the hardest games I've played. The control method's a bit weird. to get past this bit. I don't understand why he's called Lomax or she. And then there's the question that do lemmings have sex? What I meant was, do are lemmings have sex? Uh, yeah, I do remember that the older games are harder than today's. Yeah, I was thinking that as well, uh, Doric. It was like, how come they have an umbrella and they're alright? But I fall off the platform and I'm deaded. Right, we're not, going, we're not talking to it again. It brings me bad luck. What's this? When does he come that far down? get the ones up here, I'm not going to go. Right. Oh! Right. We're getting somewhere now. That's going to spring up in it. Yeah. Oh! Oh! I was dead at them. Why is there a... <laughs> Why is there a nab swinging? I don't know what we find out. No, it looks... <laughs> of course there is! Oh, they're full of treasure. games there's there's no story to it is there what's going on with the other ones
they, they look a bit zombified, don't they? I suppose you could have a, lump, a lemming, a zombie lemming. Ah! sort of guy with a balloon throwing bombs at me. What's that about? You must be able to do that. Just not doing it right. No, you just jump. There you go. Right, I'm not going to chase all them coins, because let's be honest. Play the game for that one. We'll get these coins though. Sick. When <laughs> black gives you lemmings. When lemming now. I'll see what you did there. Oh. Oh, I've rescued eighteen lemmings. Twenty, although I got two then. I don't know why it's spinning on them is a big thing. I also don't know why there's only one button being used. Because oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, you get that, do you? Right. Bomb guy coming, so we just need to run. No, all that. Oh. oh, I had protection. Let's go. It's a beautiful. Let's go. Oh. 
Oh, okay. Oh, a heart. There's a heart. Oh, it's not him again, is it? Try pressing down on your joy pad when you run down a 45 degree slope. It is much safer, because the enemies can't harm you when doing this. You will harm them instead. Right, you tell me that now. Why is my bum up? Oh, heart, 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 heart. Heart attack. Alright, we're off. That was quick. Oh. Right, okay. There's grass there. Right, okay, we're safe. Oh, you can't kill him. Oh, she can with a hat. Maybe he can with a hat. Yeah. Ah! No! Alright, this is the uh, swing right about. The other rat, get the other rat. Got two rats now. Right, that was the finish line or something or other. Maybe it's hardy, you know. There's a pulse too. Oh. Okay. This is a multi-talented lemming. Now, if you remember the original lemmings game, the lemmings could only do one thing. You're either a digger or a blocker or whatever. This guy... ...can do everything. He can make bridges. He can jump. Can he dig? No, we're not yet. Oh, no, what's me out? I'll get it back again. I'll get it back again. Another hat, another hat, get the hat. Wait for the hat, get the hat, there we go, get the hat. Well, this is getting better now, I'll be honest with you. I was a little bit underwhelmed before. But now I'm getting to, I get it now. Oh! oh. Cow moving in the background. Gotta climb up that. No. One up. Okay. Got to jump on top of that. in the water. I'm not sure. Get out. So why can't we climb? So let's get right. So what we need to get to, we need to get to that. Doing. Oh. Sort of pressing the uh, super landing. Yes. Right, that was a risk, but a risk I had to take. Okay, we'll get another life. Yeah. Oh, I drowned it. 
be fair, I've never even heard of it. It might well have been on Saturn. I need a heart. Heart! Oh, I've got the heart. Oh, got the hat and drowned. Go, we'll have one more go. Time. We do <gasps> We're over an hour already, so we'll do this one one credit, and then we will. Uh... Tell it to jump off there, but it jumped off anyway. Saturn because Xenosis did do uh, like Wipeout and a few other games on Saturn, so this may well have come out on Saturn. Oh, there's a dangly bit. Got all that excitement there. So you can build part of your bridge every time you press the ability button on your joypad. You can build it as long as your stock lasts. Oh, okay then. Thanks. That's actually logically helpful. Coins one up. All right. Got a bonus. Get him first. Hat, 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 hat. Let's get the uh, sack. Oh, 
Oh, it's just every time it bounces it. Right, that's going out. That's fair enough. kind of um, Super Frog vibe as well, you ever play Super Frog on Team 17 on the Amiga. Played Super Frog on the Mega the other day. I think you should bring Super Frog back. Hard to get that one. Go down here, though. What the hell? Right, I should get a hundred here. 
Yeah, one up. Alright. This music sounds like Eurasia. I was thinking more medieval, to be fair. Up to Daddy. Oh, well, one max. me then. Dirty slug, the animations are cool, but I prefer the GameCube and PS2. Yeah, this is early. For a PS1, this is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, Doc, Dimber. Building, I need to do the guy goes on about bridge building, doesn't he? Press your, press your action button or something. So, hat, there's a hat, get the hat. Right, I'm not overly bothered about the uh, bonus. Atrocious are many. And I can hear a timer running out as well. 
Uh, it's for the Amiga. One up. Uh, yeah, time out. Yeah, it's, it's a mini Amiga, a bit like the mini SNES and the, hopefully it's better than the mini PS1. It's got a password there, uh, if you want to write it down. Zero, uh, circle cross, zero, uh, circle cross, oxal, uh, triangle, cross, square, circle, circle. So circle, cross, square, triangle, cross, what? Circle, cross, circle, triangle, cross, square. Circle, circle. <sighs> Scrooge McLemick. <laughs> looking at the time, I know we're over an hour. Don't be disappointed, mate. I'm going to never play you again. Yeah, stop looking at your watch. Oh. Oh. When you jump on them, the plugs fall out of them. Oh, he drowned. Oh no, I drowned. I got eaten by fish, you see the fish? There's fish, look, fish. Matty. Oh. Oh no, that's it. I said that we're only doing one because we're over the hour already. <sighs> Gotta stick to the rules. Even though I made them up myself. Uh, yeah, so there you go then. That was uh, Lomax on the uh, PlayStation 1. Made by Signosis. Uh, one of my favourite uh, developers of games. Etc, etc, etc. Don't forget if you like uh, retro gaming, there are shed loads in the game uh, in the playlists that I've got. Um, for loads of different things as well. But if it's retro gaming you're into, that's the place to go. Playlists and just have a look along and see what we've got. Play some pretty rare games. I think Lomax is one of them. Uh, definitely. Uh, I vaguely don't remember it at all. Anyway, uh, that's it for tonight. So a big shout out to... Um, Super Gamer Plays, JT, uh, Dark, Darker's Board, um, Quincy, uh, Pink Hero, missed that one. Uh, oh no, Phoen Phoenix Hero, yeah, no, I, I said, are you Phoenix? I missed someone then. War Ready, um, Dirty Slug, and Matty Andrews. So yeah, look after yourselves, uh, stay safe, and uh, we'll see you again for another broadcast at some point in the future. I'll be seeing you. Till then, let's annoy the neighbours. Don't forget the playlist. Bye! <laughs>